Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to our Trending Reviews. So today, I've got this USB microphone by Fifine Technology. You can uh, check out the link below for where you can buy this on Amazon. It costs about £35. So the reason I got this, I wanted to try out some of the uh, audio recording for my podcasts and so on on my laptop. This is compatible with both Mac and Windows. You can use it on Linux as well. Now, I just wanted to give you guys an audio comparison and give you an overall review of this uh, USB microphone. It's got really good build quality. It isn't that expensive. It's only £35 on Amazon. So let me go ahead and give you a review and see how it sounds. Right, so the first thing to note is that it comes with two knobs on the front of the microphone here. It's got the volume and the echo one. The Echo One, I have to say, you're probably never going to use this. It's more for people that are recording music and they're singing into it and they want to maybe just adjust the echo a little bit for how the audio is coming out in the editing software. However, for most situations, whether you're using this for YouTube, creating podcasts, or you're making calls on Skype, FaceTime, and so on, then you probably would never need to use that. But the volume button is, is obviously one that you're going to be using the most to adjust the levels of audio coming in and out of your laptop. The actual body, it's made of metal, it's not cheap plastic or anything like that. And then you have your connector via USB where you stick into the bottom of the microphone there. It does come with this tiny little tripod stand which I think is pretty cool. It just places quite easily, it's quite sturdy, it doesn't tend to fall over or anything like that. And for the price you pay, I definitely think it's great value for money. So let's go ahead and plug this in and see how the audio sounds. Now this is plug and play, so my Mac will pick it up straight away. Just need to change the settings to use the Fifine microphone rather than the internal microphone. Okay, now just before I begin, I'm just gonna show you a comparison with the audio quality using the internal mic on my MacBook Pro and then switching over to the Fifine microphone and seeing the audio quality there. So this is an audio test, testing for my podcast audio quality using the internal microphone for my MacBook Pro. This is an audio test using the Fifine USB microphone, testing this for my podcasts and we'll see if there's any improvement in the audio levels. Right, so what did you guys think of the audio qualities? I just had a quick playback and I do think that the Fifine microphone does give better audio quality because it removes a lot of the background noise. Now, one other thing I forgot to mention is that it does come with a little wind cap that you can put on top of there to reduce even more noise. Um, I think overall, the my MacBook Pro actually has a very good internal mic, so I can see that the sound is quite richer coming out of the audio, but again, in compensation for that, there is a lot of background noise coming from my fan and so on. So overall, if you're gonna be doing podcasts, if you're starting off in YouTube especially and you just want a really good quality microphone, I think this is really good. You need to really position it well closer to you to get uh, a lot of the audio coming from your voice. The second audio test I'm going to do is show you some audio waveforms to see the actual capabilities and audio levels between an internal microphone on my MacBook Pro and the actual Fifine microphone here. So let me go ahead and do that and let me know what you guys think. This is an audio test using the internal microphone on my MacBook Pro. Essentially, I'm checking the waveform to see how much background noise is picked up in comparison to the USB microphone that I've purchased from Amazon. This is an audio test of the Fifine USB microphone. I'm testing this to see how it sounds for podcasts and for YouTube videos. Essentially, this will be an audio waveform comparison with the internal microphone on my MacBook Pro. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I hope that review was pretty useful for you. If you did want to buy a USB microphone for your Windows or your MacBook, for £35, I think you can't get a better microphone. Definitely check them out. I've got all of the relevant links down below in the description box. I've got a lot more videos coming up around audio technology. I'm sure you're going to like it. Other than that, thanks for watching. I hope you subscribe and I'll see you next time. Take care.